Hello, everyone. My name is Karagolova Mirim, and I'm a teacher of Sakhtabati and Bishop Memorial Asian Medical Institute, and I will teach you Latin. In Sakhtabati and Bishop Memorial Asian Medical Institute, you have a great opportunity to get high quality education, which is 100% free of corruption, because we are training future doctors. A doctor it is one of the most difficult and responsible professions. And our students, if they want to make a good doctor in the future, they must work hard, very hard. They must deepen their knowledge continuously. They must learn new skills and improve them day by day. So that is why, guys, I wish you good luck and study, study, study. Okay, let's start our Latin lesson. And today we're talking about third declension nouns. You know that according to the endings which are used to construct genitivus, uh, all Latin nouns divided into five groups, so-called five declensions. And nouns of third declension um, have several specific features that make them a big exception in Latin grammar, which we must be very attentive about. For this, we have several reasons. And first, it is impossible to indicate gender of third declension noun by ending because in one gender ending there can be several gender endings like homo, polix, pes, flos, vomer. All these nouns they belong to masculine group. But at the same time in one gen in different gender groups you can meet one and same gender ending which can confuse you like pulmo or masculine. Magnitudo, also O ending, but it is feminine now. Or nasus ending us masculinum. And when we have third declension now, salus us belongs to femininum group and corpus ending us belongs to neutrum group. One more specific feature of third declension now is it is form of construction of genitivus forms where for each nominativus ending corresponds some specific genitivus ending. And today we are going to discuss how to construct genitivus form of third declension noun and which endings are common to these nouns. So first, third declension masculinum nouns. For this group of nouns, endings os, or, ex, o, S and R are common. For constructing genitivus, os and or we change to oris. For example, flos, flower, floris, or flower, tumor, tumoris. X we change to itsis, like polex, thump, polizis, of thump. For ending or correspond to genitivus endings, and it is related to the number of letters in the word. Words ending with O and containing even number of letters, we use genitivus ending inis, homo, hominis. For words containing odd number of word, letters, we use pulmo, pulmonis, ending onis. As same situation, paries contains even number of letters, as we change to etis, parietis. Pes contains odd number of letters, we use ending edis, pes. Edis. And for uh, um, or even number of letters, we use ending ris, venter, ventris. For odd number of letters, word, vomer, we use ending eris, vomeris. Next group of nouns are third declension feminine nouns. For this group of nouns, as, as, or, NS or RS, X, US, NX, LX, is endings are common. 
For constructing genetics, as we change to artis, cavitas, cavitatis. As we change to itis, pubes, pubis. For ending O, again corresponds to genetics endings. But here we look at three last letters. And when magnitude do, three last letter consonant, we use inis ending magnitude dinis. Regio, three last letter vowel, we use ending onis, regionis. And S, we change to entis, par, RS, we change to artis, pars, partis, prons, pontis. Ending X, we change to ending cis, lux, luxis, pax, patsis, radix, radixis. Ending us, we change to ending utis, for example, salus, health. Salutis of health. Ending NX, we change to NGIS. Like an example, phalanx, genitives form will be phalangis. LX, we change to LCS, like calx, genitives form calxis. For ending is, we have two genitives endings, is. For Latin origin words and English for Greek origin words. So, auris genitives form auris, English genitives form uri, uri, dis. Uh, other Greek origin words are parotis, carotis, epiglotis, glotis, cuspis. Okay, now third declension neutral nouns are n, a, i, r, ut, e, u, and us endings they can have. For constructing genitives, N we change to inis, abdomen, abdominis. A we change to artis, coma, comatis. Al we change to alis, animal, animalis. Ending R we change to aris, calcar, calcaris. And in case of ending R, we have one exception, hepar. For hepar, we use ending artis, hepar, hepatis. Ending ut, we change to itis, caput, capitis. Ending e, we change to is, rete, retis. For ur ending, correspond to genitivus endings, oris and uris. So for words uh, containing even number of letters, we use ending uris. Odd number of letters we use ending oris, like femur, femoris, sulfur, sulfuris. For ending us, also two endings of genitivus oris and eris. But there is no rule that is why we need to construct dictionary forms of nouns corpus, corporis, glomus, glomeris. So, guys, today I taught you how to construct genitivus form of third declension nouns. I hope my lesson was uh, informative and useful for you. Thank you for your attention.